everyone, welcome to QA TV Sports for high school basketball action where the boys from Quincy High School will take on the boys from the North Quincy High School. My name is Jonathan Caleri. I'm being joined by Jim Timmons. And Jim, we're in for a great game here tonight between these two teams. Oh, we are that, John. We just uh, completed a phenomenal overtime game in the girls game. And uh, we'll see how the boys match up. In case, uh, depending upon how the timing goes, I don't know uh, whether you would have heard this already from us, but we are sitting on top of the base for Mike <laughs> Tucker's sound system here. And that's what all the noise is about. He has the Quincy High School gym absolutely rocking here. It's uh, packed with people for tonight's game. And uh, Mike Tucker and his sound system and his Dave Zinkoff-like announcing <laughs> are uh, all part of the ambiance of uh, the Quincy High School basketball experience this year. Why don't you talk a little bit about the two teams, John? Yeah, I certainly will. We'll start with North Quincy. They come into this game at 8-8, eight and 7-4 eight, uh, and four in the league. Last Friday, they lost, excuse me, they beat Women Hanson 70-59 to on Valentine's Day. They lost at Nauset by a one point, 58-57. And on the 15th of February, they lost to Plymouth North. 72 to 54. Uh, for the Quincy High School presidents having a fantastic year, they are the Old Calling League North champions this year with an overall record of 15 and 2 and in the league at 10 and 2. Uh, on February 11th, they beat Plymouth North at Plymouth North 63 to 49. On the February 12th, a Saturday, they beat Nosset 57 to 44. And this past Tuesday, the 15th, they went down to Nosset and lost by a point, 48 to 47. But uh, Quincy High School has certainly had a fantastic year led by coach Bob Fisher and North Quincy is led by head coach Jim Rendell. Yeah the interesting thing is um, both teams uh, North with the return of Mr. Murray there um, is their, their seasons kind of come together at the beginning of the year Jim Rendell had a tough tough schedule uh, set up for his boys uh, they played some tough teams they only won one of the games but it got them ready for the uh, ACL schedule and Aside from that disappointing loss uh, earlier this week, uh, they really had a, a, a good run at the, uh, the league. And as a result, they come into tonight's game with uh, a shot at the tournament and a shot at the team that's won the league and got all the headlines. So it's interesting from the North perspective. And we'll be very curious to see the presidents again, see how they've developed over the course of the season since evening, December when we had them on TV. Uh, why don't we stop? We'll turn it over to the uh, floor for the introductions of players here, John. Athletic programs in Quincy Public Schools are primarily for the student participants. The purpose of this activity is to provide learning experiences and opportunities for further growth of the teams. We are pleased to host our guests from North Quincy High School. The team's asked you to assume your responsibilities for good sportsmanship. Thank you for your cooperation. And now the starting lineups for the visiting Red Raiders at North Quincy High School. At guard number four, Kyle Costa. At guard number three, Rob Agadna. At forward number 34, Akil Benjamin. At forward number 12, Kevin Donovan. And at center number 32, John Murray. The Red Raiders are coached by Mr. Jim Rendell. And now we are starting lineup for the Quincy Presidents. At forward number 25, Lavelle Johnson.
I don't know if uh, I missed it, Sean. Was that another one of the uh, seniors here at Quincy High who did that rendition? We had an a cappella version <laughs> before the girls' game, and that was an, another marvelous rendition of our national anthem here at uh, Quincy High. So the place is really rocking. This is a great high school atmosphere for tonight's game, Sean. All right, the starting lineups for North Quincy. That guard, number three, Rob Gardner, and also at guard number four, Kyle Costa. Kevin Donovan was playing forward. He's number 12. Number 34, Keela Benjamin, also at forward. And John Murray, back after missing 10 games early in the season, number 32 at center. For the Presidents, we have a guard, number 12, John Felino. Uh, Parker Scott, number 14. Also, Kenny Johnson, number 20. Lavelle Johnson at forward, number 25. And Alex Scott at guard, number 33. Excuse me, John Felino was playing forward tonight. I'll tell you, Murray's going to be the big factor here. We'll see what a difference he makes in tonight's game. That's going to be huge for North. Uh, it'll be interesting to see the Quincy man-to-man -man defense here, the wanted defense. All right, Murray and Felino take the tip, and it's controlled now by Quincy. Parker Scott has it. And at the top of the key now is Alex Scott. North and a man-to-man -man as well, John. It's going to be just... Guys digging in and banging it out. All right, Parker Scott takes a shot. Rebounded by Folino, and it's good John by Folino. Folino! Presents in a full court press here, and both the Scots are up pressuring the ball. Kyle Costa, the point guard for this Red Raiders team, is able to break it and get across half court. Costa drives baseline now, and he goes up, and he's going to get fouled. And it looks like it might be on Folino. You're correct. Uh, nice job well. by Coster of penetrating the there, Kyle forcing the foul. The this is a guy, two. Kyle Coster. I think he's regularly visiting Dr. Mark Janig, the chiropractor up in North Quincy. Also runs the Sacred Heart program. Kyle's been carrying this North team in his back all year and really held up well. He buries the first two, and we're off to a, uh, a quick 2-2 tie here, John. Kyle's averaging just over 19 points for the season. Parker Scott brings it up, and he passes it off now to Johnson. Johnson passes off to the other Scott. Back into Lava Jones. Johnson, excuse me. And Kenny good now. Johnson Kenny Johnson in for two points. Nice interior passing by the Presidents. Red Raiders push the ball up court quickly, and it's a bad pass there by Rob Gardner, and it's taken away by Felino. He gets it up now to Scott. Felino at the top of the key. Finds Johnson underneath and looked like Johnson was looking for Murray and as we said uh, at the beginning of the game we'll see what kind of impact Murray has and right away Johnson was looking for someone to come up and hit him and he didn't put up the ball in time. Yeah coach Jim Rendell a little upset because uh, the players uh, he doesn't want to see the guy taking the layup. Murray made a great play to uh, that gonna be a travel no nice reaction by Coster he got tripped never quit on the play they get the ball over half court Oh, great backdoor cut by Gardner. Rob Gardner from Kevin Donovan. All right, 4-4 early here, 14-30 left here in the game. Pace certainly has been quick so far. Scott over to Johnson in the corner. Presence passing the ball on the perimeter. The Bell Johnson now has it back up to Parker Scott. Parker Scott's going to drive in, find Felino in the corner. He's going to drive baseline, and he's going to get fouled. And it looks like Akil Benjamin will pick up his first. Yeah, Keel Benjamin is uh, covering Felino. One of the things Quincy did in reaction to that is they put Felino out on the wing. I think Felino's a little quicker than Benjamin, but Benjamin's got the strength edge if Felino stays down low. And that's where Felino's gone now, into the post, and he and Benjamin are really banging. Kenny Johnson drives in, and it is good. Nice shot there by Kenny Johnson to drive in. 6-4 presidents, John. All right, Alex Scott is pressuring Kyle Costa. Costa finally breaks and gets across half court. Over in the corner for a shot there was Murray. No good. Rebounded by Johnson. Good look at the hoop for Murray. May not have been the shot coach Randall wanted, but it was a clean look. All right, Parker Scott went baseline. Looks like he got fouled before the shot. North Quincy foul on Kyle Costa. Kyle Costa is going to get called here for his first. That's team second. That's his first team second. Felino will take the ball out of bounds for the Presidents. He's over to Kenny Johnson. 
Scott has it down underneath now the pocket, Scott. And in and out, no good. Rebounded by Alex Scott. And he's going to slow it down, bring it back out. He picks up his dribble and loses it. Gives it off to LaBelle Johnson now. And he can't control it, and he loses it over to Kyle Costa. Good job by Costa pulling it out. And there's that NBA three-pointer that he's known for. He can stick those, though, John. That's not a bad shot for Costa. All right, Costa's going to slow it down, calling out the offense. Costa now drives in and passes it off. And for a three, it's no good there. Kevin Donovan threw up an air ball, and it's no good. So it'll be President's ball underneath their own net. Yeah, we talked about the factor here of uh, the, the Quincy High gym, the white background, the fact that the hoops are about 15 to 20 feet from the back wall. Your depth perception is tough early on. Red Raiders have to factor that in early in their shot selection. You don't want to be taking those long shots like that. There's another President turnover. And just a little bit too far of the pass, which can cost it to Donovan. Back down the other end, though, we should mention Felino had it, and she said being guarded by Akil Benjamin, and Akil got his hands in there to knock it away, and that led to the uh, push up the court, but it's Quincy Ball. Yeah, Akil's a very strong physical athlete. That's going to be an interesting matchup, the Felino-Benjamin matchup. They got to get Felino out on the perimeter to take advantage of his quickness edge. All right, Alex Scott for three, no good, in and out. Nice and box out by Coster on the rebound. Nice job by Scott to get it back. Now it's back to Parker Scott. He's going to go in for the layup. No good, actually. Looked like he went up and took Jump advantage ball. of it. He thought he had a nice little easy layup, and he missed it. Jump ball, and it'll be President's ball. I'll tell you, the officials are letting the boys play. This is a very physical game early on. Boys really going at it out there. Red Raiders releasing a couple of men down the floor uh, after the shot to try to get some opportunities down the other end. We'll see if it works for them later on in the game. Lino has a turnaround jumper, and it's good. I can see a little frustration on the part of Felino. As soon as he hit that shot, he turned and started yapping to Benjamin. Nice big block there by Felino over Murray. Leads to the fast break. They're going to have to slow it down, though. There's Parker Scott. Had to wait for people to come up court. Parker Scott now has it in the left elbow. Gives it off to Kenny Johnson. Down underneath the, uh, Felino, and he goes up, and he's going to get fouled. He's going to go up for two. And look, he got fouled there by Kyle Costa. It's going to be Costa's second foul. Yeah, this is going to be a long game for John Felino. He's working awfully hard down low. That was a great job that he did to get position for that uh, pass. And uh, he's going to the line now. All right, Felino's first is good. But Benjamin is really playing very physically, really making Felino work hard. We'll see if that comes into effect over the course of the game here, John. All right, Ahmad El get a little worn out. Excuse me, Ahmad El comes in. Rob Grimes is going to take a breather. Felino misses the second. 9-4 with 11.40 left here in the first half. President's on top. All right, Donovan has the ball. Pass over now to Coster in the corner. He's going to go baseline, and he has to pass it off. And Johnson stuck out his foot to kick it out. And we and the ball Red Raiders ball Quincy. underneath the net. Joe Griffin replaces uh, Kenny Johnson. We're going to have a clock reset, a new 30 there on the kick. So Red Raiders can run their offense if they care to. They pull it out. And Murray has it over to Costa now. Costa looking for a screen by Donovan. Didn't use it. Back over to Elkatrib. Finds Murray underneath. And back over to uh, Benjamin. Benjamin couldn't go anywhere, had to come back out, picks up his dribble, and it is broken up, and so Red Raiders have it eight on the shot clock, they didn't get a shot off, Costa takes a long three, and no good, and rebounded finally by Parker Scott. Scott brings it up, nice pass up quickly, and no good. Now that was Joe Griffin, Joe's in for the Presidents, one of the guys who's part of the Fisher rotation here. Joe's a big man, uh, junior, and he's going to be covering Benjamin. Nice look down low. All right, Murray went up, and he looked to get partially blocked there by Felino. Felino skied up for that. All right, ball's now on the left elbow. Now up the top of the key to Alex Scott. Over now to Lavelle Johnson. Presence again swinging on the perimeter. Scott has it in the middle. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Parker's got a top of the key. He's going to have to make something happen quickly here. He goes up for the shot, and it's no good. And let's see. Rebounded by Elkatrib. 
Donovan leads it down the other end. Goes into the middle, and again, big block there, but right into the hands of Kyle Costa, who buries the three. Kyle Costa for three. Big block there by John Felina, but he hit it right into the hands of Kyle Costa, and Costa said, I'll take it and drain the three. 9-7 now, presence on top. 9.43 left here in the first half. Quite a frenetic pace out here, John. I'll tell you, the ball's really moving. Yep, Griffin, Griffin took some baby steps. That's the Murray factor. You know he's there somewhere, and uh, he's, he can have an influence. He's coming out for a break now, but Murray already showing some influence on the play here early on. All right, we're going to have a foul there on What's Parker foul? Scott. John Orlando, that is his Actually, it was on John Orlando who came in. They hit John for holding Costa. He's covering Costa here. Back down the other end quickly, and another big block there by John Felino. That is his fourth block here of the game early in this first half. Yeah, great timing by Felino, and he gets up very quickly. All right, on the other side now. Top of the key, Orlando has it over to Parker Scott. Scott gives it back to Orlando, top of the key three for Orlando is no good. They're gonna get Griffin down low on that one. I'll tell you, uh, Felino, one of the things that um, has been a little bit of a, uh, a knock on the Quincy team is that they lack height. Felino's their center and he's at about 6'3". But the way he gets up, he's got long arms, he gets up quickly, he plays like a guy about 6'6", or 6'7" really having an influence around the hoop here early on. All right, Costa drives in. He kicks it off to Benjamin. Benjamin now off to Donovan at the top of the key. Benjamin has it back now, drives in and goes up and no good, but is able to draw the foul and he'll go to the line for two. Nice take to the hoop by Benjamin. Quincy foul number 20. Kenny All right, Kenny Johnson, Johnson gets called for the foul. Benjamin and that is Quincy's team fourth. Two. Benjamin's first shot is no good. And it looks like Murray's going to check back in for Benjamin if he makes his shot. And he does. In the ball game, and Murray does come Murray back in. Akil Benjamin, 8.54 to go in the first half. 9-8, Presidents. All right, Presidents have it up by one. Parker Scott. Tries to set up the offense as he crosses the half court line. Looks like they're trying to run a four across and set some screens from that from the foul line. Orlando has it, gets it down underneath now to Johnson. Johnson over to Lavelle Johnson and is almost stolen by Elkatrib. Quick hands it by Elkatrib. And finally, Kyle Costa comes up with it. He fakes the pass and he goes in for the layup. Nice job there by Kyle Costa. Kyle Costa. Right back down the other end now is Parker Scott and he's going to get called, excuse me, he's going to get draw the foul. We'll see who gets called on. Quincy foul on number 32, John Murray. Looks like Murray gets called for the foul. This is his first team sport. Parker Scott the line is shooting two. All right, Scott's first is good. Alex Scott replaces a John Olander for Quincy. As you just heard from the announcer down here, Alex Scott checks back in the game. Yeah, John Orlando did a nice job when he was in there. He had a cover Costa. Quincy. Uh, we'll see Coach Fisher subbing frequently, trying to wear down Costa, I'm sure. Costa is able to break the press by the Scots, and he passes it off, and it is broken up there by Alex Scott. Avell Johnson gets it off now to Parker Scott, who comes up. He's going to wait for the rest of his team to come down and join him. Felino has it, finds Johnson underneath, and Johnson is up for the Johnson layup. From John Felino. I'll tell you, he's hit three layups. Nice inside game there. 13 to 10, Presidents have the lead with 7.50 left here in the half. Kyle Costa brings the ball up now for the Red Raiders. Being defended by Alex Scott. Costa trying to direct some traffic there. Goes towards the baseline, has to kick it way up top now to Elkatrib. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Donovan now has it, takes a long three and no good. Fight for the rebound and it's gonna go out of bounds off Murray. And it'll be Quincy Ball. Yeah, not a good shot by the Red Raiders. That was not a good offensive sequence, but those things happen occasionally. 7.25 to go here in the first half. 13-10 presidents, John. 
Parker Scott has it over now to Lavelle Johnson. Down on these to the block to Felino, being guarded by Murray, and Murray blocks him, and he's going to get fouled. Felino got his own rebound. I got the block back from Murray, and he went up for the shot and got fouled. Right, Powers gets called for his first foul. Felino will go to the line for two. And he hits the first. Presence up by four now. And he hits the second as well. John Salino converts on both free throws. 7.13 to go in the set first half. 15-10, presidents. And Kyle Costa has it, bringing it up now for the Red Raiders. Being defended by Alex Scott. Gets it off now, and it's Murray can't handle it. Now on the floor, go a lot of people. And Lavelle Johnson was trying to bring it up, and looks like he's going to get fouled by Elkatrib. And Elkatrib does get called for the foul. Elkatrib decided to foul uh, Johnson there, so it looks like he might have had a quick, fast break for a layup, and he fouled him. Yeah, North's uh, been a little sloppy here the last couple of minutes. We'll see if they can't regain their composure. Quincy, meanwhile, they've just played very steadily. Had a lot of layups here. They're really moving the ball well on offense. All right, Lavelle Johnson was able to get the ball down into the block to Kenny Johnson. Uh, and coming over to the double team was Elkatrib and also Benjamin. And Lavelle Johnson, Kenny Johnson had to get it back out and he couldn't handle it. President's ball, though. Parker Scott drives in, hands it off to Lavelle Johnson, takes a little J, no good. Rebounded by Kenny Johnson. Up to the top of the key for Felino. And no good. And looks like the smallest man on the court at the time comes up with it, Alex Scott. Parker Scott drives in, nice spin move, and it's good. The a super hoop by Scott. 17 10 now, President's opening up a little small lead, up by seven. Costa has it, uses the screen by Murray to go baseline, get a little give and go back to Murray along, Jay, no good. And it is rebounded by Parker Scott. Tell you, John, you know you're in trouble when your six-eight center is taking three-pointers. You know this early on. Alex nice Scott. box out there by the Red Raiders. Alex Scott went up for three, but it was no good. Quickly up now to Murray, who's on the block, and he's four presidents right around him, and he loses the ball, and. Looks like it's going to stay ball. down that end of the court, though, and be remaining right right the ball. Yeah, that was not the best pass to Murray there. That was a long bounce pass. It would have been better to throw it in the air, and it was available to him. Um, nice box out down the other end by the Red Raiders. They got the ball on the break. Couldn't convert. We'll see what they do on the inbound. 17-10, Presidents. All right, Donovan passes it into Benjamin. Murray's going to check back out, and Donovan came in. Costa has the top of the key. 13 seconds on the clock, he's running in, and no good. Rebounded there by Kenny Johnson. Parker Scott pushes it up for the Presidents, and he drives right in, find a little hole, and he goes in and misses the layup, though. Should have had that. He had a lane, and he took it, and he was unable to convert. That was a big league hesitation move by Scott. He just kind of pulled the ball out a bit, fainted, and then went strong to the hole. Kyle Costa for a three, and no good. And it's rebounded by Kenny Johnson. Kenny Johnson had a great rebounding game here so far tonight for the Presidents. Alex Scott has it up the court now in the left elbow. Gives it down to Lavelle Johnson. Back over to Scott. On the other side now, Kenny Johnson has it. Goes baseline, and we're going to get a charging foul Offensive on ball. Kenny Johnson. Great job defensively by number 12 for the Raiders, Donovan. He, got, he used his legs, and Kevin got good position there. John Cutting off Johnson, picking up the charge. Felino's out for his first break here with 4.50 to go in the half. I'm sure it'll be a brief one. Yeah, Steve Sullivan's going to check in for, for Felino. Uh, they get down to Murray underneath, and he gives a nice acrobatic shot, but it won't go in. Looked like he was trying to draw the foul, but the Presidents were able to back off at the last second. Parker Scott brings it up now for the Presidents. Over to Lavelle Johnson, down low now to Sullivan. Over to the right side, Scott has it. Finds Kenny Johnson underneath, and he's quickly trapped by a couple of Red Raiders. And you're going to call three-second three second. violation. Yep. Um, 
Good defense by the Red Raiders. Nice inside-outside game by the Presence. They're really moving the ball well. They didn't turn over a shot that sequence, but they moved the ball very well. Yeah, Felino's coming right back. He got some water and got a 30-second break. That was it. All right, Murray has it back over to Costa now. Eight on the shot clock. Down in the to Murray. Murray takes a shot, and it's no good. Rebounded nice by rebound. Donovan, and he goes in for two. Very alert play by Kevin Donovan. 17-12, Presidents, John, with uh, 3.45 to go. Bill Johnson gives it up now to the top of the key over to Scott. He passes over to Parker. Scott's going to take the shot. No good. Rebounded by Alex Scott, but taken away by Costa. Costa's going to try to run down the court. He passes it off to Elkatrib, who goes up for it and gets fouled there by Alex Scott. Nice job by Costa of kind of pulling the ball Scott. out a bit, looking for the That's trailer. He was able to drag the defense first. over with him and give Elkatrib a shot. Good two. look at the hoop there on the layup. He got banged, and he's going to the line for two. All right, Elkatrib misses the first. Bellino's going to check back in for the game. Uh, and Steve Sullivan, Sullivan comes in to give him a breather. So nice job by Sullivan for the quick two minutes that he was in. All right, Elkatrib second shot. He missed the first. And he misses the second as well. Rebounded by Murray, who goes up, and they're going to call him for a traveling violation. Yeah, Murray slipped there. He got the rebound, got banged, and slipped, and didn't recover. Nice attempt, but I'll tell you, Norris hanging around, 17-12, 3.30 to go. I'm sure Coach Fisher and the Presidents like to have done a little more damage at this point, but they continue to run their offense. Bell Johnson for three, no good rebound by Kenny Johnson. He goes up again and hits the two. Johnson's got eight in his first half, and they've all been little bunny layups. He's been doing a great job of getting position. Kyle Costa has it, being defended by Alex Scott. He gives it off to Donovan now. Donovan trying to make some room, hands off to Costa. Costa in the corner. And nice job by Alex Scott to break it up. Tom Powell's got it back for the Red Raiders. Donovan has it. Five on the shot clock, he puts it up, and it's no good. And fight for the rebound between Murray and Polino, and we're gonna have a jump ball. Jump ball, so jump ball there, North and North Quincy will retain possession. Yeah, Felino, you can tell he's tired. He's showing a little frustration out there. He's been really getting banged all half. Our right, North runs from screen for Costa with no good, and oh, there it is to Tom Powers. Play. Well done, well executed, and the results in a layup. 19 14. Nice job by Powers. He kind of faked like he was just going to stay there, and just rolled off to his left and was wide open. Parker Scott gets it down underneath now to Kenny Johnson, who turns around and it's blocked there by Donovan. So the presence will have it with 18 on the shot clock underneath the net. In the Parker Scott. Scott gives it off to Lavelle Johnson. Johnson off now to Alex Scott. Looking for Felino down low. Can't get it to him. Cross court pass over to Parker Scott. Into Kenny Johnson. He goes up and they're going to call him for a traveling violation. Traveling violation. Yeah, that time he forgot to put the ball on the floor. Took a couple of steps to the hoop and uh, the official was right there. So it's 1914. Presidents were coming up on two minutes. It's been a very gritty first half. Cost a nice head and shoulder fake. Takes and it to the hoop. We're going to have a defensive foul. Almost looked like we could have had a charge, but Kenny Johnson, excuse me, Lavelle Johnson is going to get called for the foul, for the blocking foul. Yeah, Lavelle got there a little late. That's the seventh team foul, although this is a two shotter because uh, Costa was shooting. Uh, North is now in the one on one. Uh, Joe Griffin comes in to the game. Kenny Johnson's going to get a drink of water. Cost his second is good as well. He hits both. 19 to 16. Under two minutes now left to go in the half. Parker Scott leading the offense for the Presidents. Looking for Felino down the block. Can't get it to him though. Right back to him. Lavelle Johnson top of the key. He's over to Alex Scott. He's going to drive in. Skips pass it over to Parker Scott. Griffin has it in the corner over to Parker Scott. Five on the shot clock. Parker shoots it, and it's no good. And 
Griffin came down with the ball. Both teams are going to have a foul on the floor. Yeah, and that's the seventh team foul, so Griffin's going to be shooting one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, nice job of working hard down low by John Griffin. Uh, great defense, that whole sequence by Murray. They were looking to get it to Felino and couldn't get it to him. And the first shot is good there by Griffin on the first of the one on one. Donovan was called for the foul. I'll tell you, Quincy's done a nice job from the foul line. They have uh, now gone uh, seven for eight in this first half. Right, Quincy pressuring in pocket, uh, excuse me, Kyle Costas runs right past it all. Speedy Cost was able to break the press so far here tonight. Yeah, I'm sure one of the things Coach Fish is going to talk with his players about in the second half is denying that sideline to Costa. He's just been dribbling up the sideline, and the boys have to get out there and turn him back up in, inside into the court area. They have not done that yet. All right, five on the shot clock. El Trip has He's going to have to get a shot off quickly. Over now to Tom Powers, and no shot. And going up there to deny it just a little as well was Felino. And... Powers had to try to scoop it over there or rainbow it over him, but couldn't do it. Yeah, he didn't hit the rim. The ball didn't hit the rim, so no shot. Block violation. Uh, Packer Scott brings it up now for the presence. Gives it up to Lavelle Johnson for three, and no good. And controlled now by Elkatrip for the Red Raiders. Yeah, Lavelle's like Tyler Coster. He can hit that shot, and if he heats up, that's going to add a dimension to this president offense. Murray has a nice move, faking going to the right, and went to the left, couldn't convert though, gets his own rebound, and again misses the shot. Murray had a Red nice move, he drop stepped to the right, and this came right back to the left, and Felino bit on it, but he couldn't convert on the shot. All right, shot clock is off, 29 seconds left here in the half. Long baseball pass, see if Elkintrip can track it down, he does. 25 now left here. Elkintrip has it being guarded by Johnson. Gets over to Donovan. Donovan for three, and no good. Rebounded by Felino. 12 seconds left. Presence will look for the last shot here of the half. Alex Scott for three, and no good. Elkatrip has it. Two seconds left. He's going to get a shot quickly. He gets it off. It's good. Oh, 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 it's good. He hit the shot. A big three pointer at the buzzer. And I'll tell you what. The Red Raiders are right there, John. It's 21-19 Presidents. What a sequence of events there. The Presidents coming down, looking to stretch their lead from five to seven or eight. But instead, they find themselves with a two-point lead heading to the locker room. And uh, great first half of basketball, John. Yeah, it certainly was. It was fast-paced, moving up and down the court all the time. Uh, not too many fouls, but it was certainly fast-paced, and it ended there on a unbelievable shot there by Mod Elkotrip for three. And at the end of the first half, 21 to 19 with a presence on top. Um, we'll be back after this for a second half action. Welcome back to second half coverage of Quincy High School versus North Quincy High School boys basketball where the presidents are on top by two by a score of 21 to 19. Jim, your analysis of the first half here tonight. Well, real gritty first half. I mean, for the most part, uh, Quincy was doing what it wanted. North only did so in spurts, but the key for North was on the defensive end of the floor, you know, holding Quincy to 21 points they played gritty all first half defensively, and that's what kept them in the game. That's why a couple of hoops at the end won a complete fluke, that uh, three-point heave by El Katrib. Um, that's got them in the game here. Their defense is really the story. So North's defense, the story of the first half. Uh, we'll see how the fatigue factor uh, affects Quincy in the second half. I know that John Polino was just getting absolutely worked over down low and uh, had a few moments of frustration but he really hung in there well tremendously athletic guy and um, so we'll see what happens here it should be an exciting second half Jim Rendell is known primarily for his uh, accomplishments uh, coaching volleyball the girls team at North Quincy High but one of the things that he's known for and it's I know it uh, plays out in the boys locker room at basketball 
as he's a very passionate guy. And I'm sure the halftime speech, he had all these boys willing to run through the cinder blocks out in the hallways there in the <laughs> locker room. So Jim's got his boys fired up for the second half. Coach Fisher, he's got the track record of accomplishment. Uh, oh, so the boys have had a great year. The 50, 50, they came out with about three minutes to go, ready to go. The they were very relaxed. The I think they feel like they controlled the game, basketball. John. And Thank that you. if they stick to their game plan, they'll be okay. So should be a very, very interesting second half. All right, recap of the first half for the presidents. John Foligno had seven. He also had four big blocks early in the half. Uh, Parker, Sp excuse me, Parker Scott had four. Kenny Johnson had eight. And Joe Griffin had two. For the Red Raiders, Rob Gardner had two. Kyle Costa had nine. Ahmad Alcutrip had those big three points at the end of the half. Ke Kevin Donovan had two. Tom Powers had two. And Akil Benjamin had one. Real quick, we want to remind everyone to log on to QATV's website, www.qatv.org, to find out when this program will be re-aired and also for our other program schedules. We also want to mention that the President's Day basketball tournament is coming up this President's Day. Uh, Monday at 5 p.m., North Quincy will face Milton, and at 7 p.m., Quincy will face Stoughton. And on Tuesday, the consolation game will be at 5, and the championship game at 7. So we hope you can all come on down and see those games. All right, back to action now, and there's been a little volleyball action going on down there. No one can get control of it, and now North Quincy will have the ball underneath the net. Yeah, nice smart play by Donovan. He just swatted it off the head of one of the uh, Quincy boys out in front of him. The ball was loose, as you said. He didn't have position, so he just banged at it. Quincy out, and it's man-to-man. -man. North running a little double stack. They're going to look to get the ball to Costa. And as you said, Costa has the ball now, being guarded by Alex Scott. Uses a screen from Elka Trib and gives it back to Elka Trib now. And he's going to drive in, take the shot at the foul line. No good. And... Let's see, we, uh, Felino had it and got knocked out of bounds there by Murray, so still be Quincy Ball. 21-19 here, just underway here in the second half. Parker Scott will bring it up now for the presence. Quincy running their screens. Over now to Alex Scott in the left elbow. Gets it down low now to Johnson. Back over to Scott. Pass over to Parker Scott. And a nice pass there by Alex Scott to uh, oh. Kenny Johnson, but a big block there by Murray. Excuse me, uh, by Elka. No, that was uh, Murray. Yeah, you Murray, correct. Yeah. Yeah. All right, back down the other end now. Kyle Costa has. He's going to slow it down now a little for the Red Raiders. He's going to use the screen from Donovan and gives it back to Donovan. Donovan goes in and can't convert off the glass. Rebound by Felino. And he's going to bring it up now for the presidents. And it looked like Donovan got a piece from behind. And Costa will go up for the layup. And it's good. And we are tied. Got a call there in the backcourt. Looks like they're going to hit Elkatree. One thing I'd like our viewers to watch if they get a chance. Uh, watch Akil Benjamin uh, defending against Felino. When he's on the weak side, he's stepping away, stepping right up in the passing lane. He's really playing smartly. I was emphasizing his physical play in the first half. He's playing defense very smartly as well, though. Like right now, he's about six feet off of, there you see him in the screen. He's just standing in the passing lane and denying Felino. So uh, doing it physically and mentally, nice job by uh, Akil Benjamin. Acosta has it. He drives into that. goes right past Alex Scott, but he can't convert off the you know, layup. And Parker Scott has it now in his hands. He's going to push it up. And he's going to go all the way. And he gets the hoop and the harm. Two points there for Scott and the foul by Akil Benjamin. A great move by Scott there. He kind of... Uh, Akil Benjamin is second team second. He goaded Benjamin into that foul. Nice move by Scott, Good. and he makes the old-fashioned three-pointer there. Our presence come out in a little bit of press here. Yeah, this looks like a zoned press, but they're going back into man-to-man. -man. Little diamond press falling back into their man-to-man -man there. Right, Alcatrip has it on the foul, and he drives in, and he's going to get fouled there. Let's see, it looks like Lavelle Johnson might get called for the foul. Nice lefty take to the hoop by Elka Treb there. 
That's Lavelle's second foul. Quincy's team first here in the second half. Alcatraz misses the first. No one in real foul trouble for either team. A couple players have two fouls, but, but that is it. All right, Alcatraz misses both and rebounded by Felino. Felino's gonna go right down and he was trying to pass it off. Uh, and on the block there was Lavelle Johnson, but it was a kick ball there by Kyle Costa. So nice draw by Costa to rent the two points. Yeah, I think it might have been Donovan actually who was back there. Got a little kick on it, but you're right. It was a nice reaction play. All right, Parker Scott's trying to pass it in, and he gets it to Felino. Back to little Scott in the corner. He's going to drive in, and it is blocked there by Murray. Leads to the fast break for Benjamin, and to Costa. Now he's going to slow it down and set up the offense. Costa gets it over to Donovan, and it looks like it's going to be stay North Quincy ball. We've got an enthusiastic Quincy fan right next to us. And Costa has it being got by Alex Scott. And a shot by Scott to prevent him from going into the middle. 17 on the shot clock. Costa goes into the middle now into the paint. And he's going to get oh -ho! He gets fouled and he gets the basket as well. Oh, that was a spectacular effort by Costa. Unbelievable. Double team, they had the ball all wrapped up, but he hung in there at the release, so he's, he can tie the ball game here. And Costa at the line, and he misses it. Rebounded by Johnson. Parker Scott now has it up to the Felino on the left elbow. He's going to drive in, but kicks it back out to Scott. Kenny Johnson at the top of the key. Gives it back to Scott. Wanted to shoot the three, thought about it, decided not to. Scott now has it, and he doesn't draw the foul, actually. And they're going to let him play. He misses the shot. Cross is going to shoot the three, and no good. Rebounded by Alex Scott. Alex Scott quickly up to the Bell Johnson, and he puts it in for two. Yeah, I think what happened on that last play was uh, Scott jumped in a little bit after making the move, and that's why the official didn't make a call there. Kyle Costa oh, with a quick Costa. layup down the other end and was able to get it over the block of Felino. Costa is just coming out and playing some spectacular basketball here in this second half. Parker Scott has it, kicks it over now to Alex Scott. Down to the baseline to Felino, working against Benjamin. Back over now to Parker Scott. Alex Scott has it, gets it in now to Kenny Johnson and set on the rim but doesn't go in. Fight for the ball now and looks like Kyle Costa is going to get, looks like there's going to be a foul there on Parker Scott. Yeah, great job by uh, Kyle Costa of pulling that ball out of the mess. Parker Scott grabbed him and he picks up his first. Timeout. Fisher getting a timeout here. We're under 12 minutes, 11.41. 26-25. Tell you the tempo's back and forth here. Red Raiders right in it. And um, Coach Fisher calling a timeout. I think yeah, there's a couple of things that he has to react to. First of all, they do like to get the ball inside to Felino, and that has not been there at all this second half. The reason the defense of Benjamin, the way Felino's reacted to that defense, he's actually gone a little lower on the baseline. He's gone below the block to try to get open. And by the time he gets the ball, he's behind the backboard or underneath it. He's too, down, he's too far down on the baseline to do anything with the ball. So I'm sure one of the things Fisher's doing is trying to just tweak the offense a little so that if they're not going to go to Felino, you know, they work the other side of the court and let Felino uh, make his cuts a little higher. We'll see about that adjustment there. But both teams just going right at each other, John. Man-to-man -man defense. Uh, not too many secrets or tricks out there. Just banging away. 26-25 is the score here at the gymnasium with 11.41 left here in the game. We'll see what Quincy comes out here and can do. It's going to be North Quincy ball, actually. Excuse me. And Donovan's going to pass it in for the Red Raiders. Quincy comes out in a little, a little bit of a press here. Yeah, 2-2-1. Two, two, it's a little variation on a full court press, but they've fallen back to their man-to-man -the -man again. Nice job by Donovan to break the press and gets up to Benjamin. Benjamin's going to give it up now to send the court to Costa. 
Murray's looking for some help, gives it across court to Benjamin. Elkotrib now on the block and can't do anything. Benjamin now has it and nice job there by Parker Scott to break it up. Three seconds on the shot clock and they're going to call a foul on looks like Alex Scott. Oh, that's a tough one with two seconds left. I'll tell you, Quincy came out with a 2-2-1. That's another one of those when you're trying to control tempo. You keep the ball in front of you. Uh, the players bring the ball up slowly. North did not have much time on the clock there by the time they uh, were looking to shoot. Nice inbounds played, Alcatree. And the North Quincy Red Raiders take the lead with 11 minutes to go, 27-26. Yeah, nice job. Looked like Donovan passed it in. He saw Alcatree cutting to the net. Just gave him a nice pass right by it. Alcatree went up, didn't even come down with it. Went right up and went for two. We're under 11 minutes now and the Red Raiders with their first lead. All right, Johnson passes it into Parker Scott. Parker at the top of the key. He's off to Felino. Felino finds Kenny Johnson off to Lavelle Johnson for three and no good in and out. Nice ball movement there by the Presidents to find an open Lavelle Johnson in the corner. I tell you, we saw the adjustment. They brought Felino out to the top of the key, set a couple of high picks, and they had him running the offense from the top of the key. So that's the first response by Fisher to the defensive pressure of Benjamin. All right, nice. alley -oop to Donovan. And it's blocked there by Felino. And are they going to call a goaltending? No, nope, they get a foul. A yeah. Okay. Coach Rendell's asking about the fact that the ball was in the cylinder. The official's saying, I think what the uh, official just told him is that's the outside official's call. Because <laughs> Rendell just turned and went right at the other official. But no one made the call, so. Don't think it's called for the foul. Nice entry pass from Parker Scott to Kenny Johnson. Kenny Johnson gives it back out. Parker at the top of the key. He's going to shoot it, and it's good just inside the three-point line. So that's a two-pointer. Quincy again in a little bit of a press. Kyle Costa has it. He breaks it up. Runs right past it, and he takes a little jumper, and it's no good. Rebounded by Felino. Parker Scott now brings it up for the presence, going baseline, and he's going to get fouled there by Akil Benjamin. That's Benjamin's foul third foul. Benjamin. Is the team's fourth Jim Randall's going to sub for him now. Um, I'll tell you. Joe Griffin in the ball game. The way Quincy. Benjamin's been playing, he's been a huge hey, factor here. We haven't set his name too Tom much. Power. It's not scoring he or anything. Actually, they're not John taking out Murray. Benjamin. They're taking out Murray. But Benjamin's been a huge factor. So that's a big foul, that third foul. And in the game real quick, Joe Griffin. Griffin. Replaced Johnson, Kenny Johnson that is. And he gets the inbounds pass and goes up for a hoop. 30-27, presence on top with 9.40 left here in the game. Nice. Uncle Trib working on Lavelle Johnson. Back up now to Kyle Costa. Costa has it. Uses a screen from Donovan. Now being double teamed by both the Scots. Donovan has it. He's going to drive in and goes in. No good. Rebound by Parker Scott. Scott's going to push it now. And he's going to stop, turn around, and no good. Rebounded by Benjamin. Great defense by Benjamin there. And Kyle Costa now has it for North Quincy. Murray's up off the bench looking to check back in. He's got a quick breather. Costa uses a screen from Kale Benjamin. Can't give the give and go, though. Costa's being trapped now by Felino. Nice defense by Felino, and they're going to get a five-second violation. He five could not get rid of the ball. Violation. That time, the only pass available Steve to Costa was a skip pass all the way across the court. But because of Felino's long arms and his height advantage there, he had uh, Costa completely smothered. Great defense by Felino. All right, Murray checks back into the game for the Red Raiders. Parker Scott has it over now to Griffin. Excuse me, that's Steve Conley who's in the game. Yeah, Conley's a sophomore, did not play at all in the first half. Good shooter, solid player fundamentally. There he is, he's open for the three. And he nails and he it. buries it. Nice ball movement by the presence. They were looking for an open shot, and they finally just got a little room for Conley, and he drained a three. 33-27 now with 8.20 left in the game. Costa working against Parker Scott, looking for some help. Gets it up now to Donovan. Donovan trying to direct some traffic and get some open room. Hands it off to Costa, who's going to shoot a three, and he's no good for him. Rebounded by Elkatrib. Fresh 30 seconds now for the Red Raiders. 
Donovan back down. Elkins will be in the corner. He's going to drive into the middle and nice defense there by Felino to knock it out. Pass was intended for Murray. Yeah, Quincy has quietly stretched their lead back to six. It's 33 27. We're under eight minutes. Um, as we said early on, coming out of the half, uh, you could tell from the demeanor of uh, Fisher and the players, you know, he seemed relatively calm. I think Quincy feels that if they play their game, they can control what happens out here. And they've been doing that. Uh, on the other side, Red Raiders have done a great job of hanging tough here. They're down six. We're under eight minutes. Um, one small factor is the three fouls on Benjamin. If he picks up his fourth next couple of minutes, that could be a big factor because he's just done a marvelous job. Second half for Felino, zero points. I don't think Felino's had any shots in the second half. So they've really shut him off. The offense has come five points from Parker Scott, that big three we just saw from Steve Conley. Uh, two from Griffin and two from Johnson. So it's been kind of a quiet half. Um, presidents have had uh, 12 points in the first eight minutes. And uh, Red Raiders on the other side of the ball have got six from Costa and two from El Katrib. Like to see Murray step it up a little here. He's been held scoreless, actually. All right, the Red Raiders are doing a nice job of holding LaBelle Johnson. Uh, Johnson has only two points. His average for the season is just over 14. So there he's doing a nice job, the Red Raiders that are, of holding him off. All right. There's the first two. Murray comes in for a quick two points, and Coster was right into the middle. They had to defend Coster and leaving Murray wide open, and he gets two points. Yeah, that was a great pass by Coster. Nice defense there by Kyle Coster on Parker Scott. Scott gets it off to the Felino. Back to Scott. Felino's going to take a shot from the top of the key. Oh, two points for Felino. He had his foot on the three-point line, so it's two. And it looks like right back down the other end, the ball went into Costa, and we're going to have a foul on Parker Scott. That's his second foul. Donovan passing in for the Red Raiders into Costa. Scott's going to lead off this time. Prevent any more fouls being called. Costa bringing it across the timeline. Finds Murray. Back up now to Costa. Nice motion offense. Elkestrip has it and two points there. Just over the block of Felino. Nice pass by Donovan. Great look. Nice back to a play. That was a well-designed play by the Red Raiders. Nice pass off there by Parker Scott to Joe Griffin, who went up and hit the two pointers. 37-31, 650 in the game. Costa calling the play there, as you can see on your screen. Coming up now and giving it off now to Donovan. Back off to Murray, who goes up for two and no good, but he gets fouled, and it looks like the foul is going to be on Joe Griffin. Quincy foul, number 24, Joe Griffin. Yes. Second, team sixth, uh, John Murray of the line is shooting two. All right, that is the sixth team foul in the Presidents and four for the Red Raiders. Yeah, that's Murray a potential factor out. down the road, especially the way the Presidents like to play that man-to-man -man in your face. The next foul on the Presidents is going to send the Red Raiders to the line one-on-one. Kenny Johnson checks back in the game. Murray's second is no good rebound for Lino. Yeah, they got to hit their foul shots, however. They're 0 for the half here in the second half, the Red Raiders, so. All right, Alex Scott dishes it off to Felino. Felino was trying to work baseline, couldn't give it up to Parker Scott. Sets a screen for Scott. Parker's going to go baseline, and no good. Couldn't hit the layup. Nice rebound of traffic by Murray, and a good quick outlet to Costa. Costa has it, calls a play. Gives it up to Murray, trying to find someone, has to give it back to Costa. 14 on the shot clock, Costa goes baseline, and defended, Murray is open, nice defense there by LaBelle Johnson to steal it, and we're gonna have a traveling violation, actually. Yeah, you know, one of the issues here, and Costa's talking to Murray now, is Murray's a little tentative in the lane there, he didn't go after that ball, there was a wide open lane in front of him, he didn't cut toward the ball, Costa was trying to get him a layup. All right, Murray has it, being guided by Felino. Felino's going to lay off, comes right back up, though. Murray for two, and it's good. Nice long jumper nice for jumper Murray. Nice jumper by Murray. We'll see if that can't get his confidence going here. 
37-33, 540 to go here in the game, John. Parker Scott over to Lewis, uh, Alex Scott, and Felina was looking to try and dump it into Kenny Johnson. Johnson didn't look for it, though, and North takes it away by, from Elkatrip. Elkatrip has it. And timeout. timeout now is called by Jim Not Rendell. 37-33 with 526 left here in the second half. North calls a timeout. They're going to try to get a two points out of here on the sideline inbounds. Yeah, North's well positioned here. You see the cheerleaders coming out. We haven't uh, really talked about them today. Had quite a halftime show. Both squads, the Quincy and North Quincy squads, did a nice job. And they're a uh, cameraman panning away to catch them. You can uh, watch them while we talk a little basketball. But the Red Raider cheerleaders have done a, a uh, really nice job tonight. They have some very aggressive uh, performances here. A um, couple of the girls have been flying around, John. I wouldn't <laughs> want my, my daughter in the midst of some of it, but they're doing fine. Uh, back to the game here. Um, Jim Rendell called that timeout. One of the things I'm sure he's talking about is the fact that Norse now on the one and one They're only four points down. They're right in it. Uh, there's under 530 to go, but let's look to see if North doesn't start trying to penetrate and bang the ball down more. Capitalize on this... Uh, not foul trouble per se, but the team foul advantage that they have. So that could be why the timeout was called by Rendell. Give the boys a rest. He hasn't been able to sub or has not subbed as frequently. One big factor is Akil Benjamin's been on the bench and really had about a five or six minute rest here. And uh, he's going to come in very fresh to go to work on Felino during the final four minutes. That could be a real factor as we come down if North continues to hang in there. All right, Costa dumps it off to Murray, being grabbed by Foligno. Elkatrip has the top of the key, swings it over now to Costa. Costa's John drive and try to make something work, kicks it back out to Donovan. Donovan shoots a three, and it's no good. And a fight for the rebound between Murray and Foligno, and it looks like it went off the hands of Foligno, so we north ball. I know it's going to take it out underneath the net. Setting some screens, and nothing works. And they try to give it off to Murray, and no Quincy good. Ball. Murray couldn't control it, so it'll be Quincy ball. Yeah, they were looking to, to, to create a layup there off that inbounds. They were, North was very aggressive there, trying to get a shot. Parker Scott, Parker Scott comes up quickly for the presidents, and he has it in the corner. Swings up to the top of the key to Felino. Back over to Scott. Alex Scott now has it. Gives it down to Kenny Johnson down low. He goes up, and he gets fouled. So he'll go to the line for two. Nice shot by Kenny Johnson to do a drop step and go up for two and get fouled. Yeah, Powers and Johnson are really banging down low there. Powers complaining a little bit. He thought he was getting uh, pushed a bit, but call went against him. Right, Johnson misses the first. Sixth team foul for Quincy, and that was the fifth team foul for the Red Raiders. Right, as you mentioned, Benjamin checks back into the game. Just under five minutes left to go. Powers is going to take a seat. Johnson's second shot is good, so he gets one of two. And 38-33 is the score. Presidents are pressing the ball now, and now they're going to lay off. Cost coming up. Red Ray is setting up some screens, try to get an open man. Murray sets the screen for Costa, kicks it over to Benjamin. Benjamin... Almost a bad pass there. Parker Scott couldn't get a great hand on it. Murray has it, takes a shot, and it's good. Nice shot by John Murray. Nice little fall away. That's two nice jumpers by Murray. He's got six here in the second half. Parker Scott brings it up for the presence, being guided by Costa. Alex Scott thumps it off for Felino. Felino takes a long jumper, no good, and can rebound it by Alex Scott, and he calls a timeout, and didn't want to fall out of bounds and lose the ball, so he calls timeout and will be President's ball underneath the Red, Ra Red Raiders net. Yeah, that's an alert play. One of the things you tell your players is once you're under five minutes like that, if you have the ball on the offensive end and you have an opportunity like that, you can burn a timeout. Sometimes coaches don't like that. Like, you wouldn't do it down the other end defensively necessarily, right. you know. But um, he, uh, he burned the timeout. Fisher's now going to see if they can't map something out. It's a three-point game, John, with 4.13 to go. Interesting uh, how both games tonight, the girls and the boys, are going right down to the wire. 15 seconds the presence will have on the shot clock to get a shot off. 38-35, uh, 4.13 left here in the half. Again, we want to remind everyone, log on to QATV's website, www.qatv.org, for program schedules, 
membership information, and much more. March 1st, QATV is having an orientation television. So if you're interested in producing your own television shows, uh, call 617-376-1440 for more information and learn how you can get your own TV shows on QATV. All right, the president's getting ready to inbound the ball. Parker Scott will take it for the president's. Presidents go four across, try to inbound it. Having some trouble, Parker Scott gets it in finally to LaBelle Johnson. He goes up and no fouls called. Looks like he might have got fouled by Elkatrib. No foul though. Folino has it on the block. Goes up for turnaround, Jay. No good. And rebounded by Kenny Johnson. And he's going to get fouled by uh, Akil Benjamin. Yeah, that time Benjamin had position, but he kept backing up. He, he just submarine Johnson. That's a big foul. That's his fourth. All right, back in now to Felino. Felino has it and it's blocked by Murray. Right back off now to Alex Scott. All right, Parker Scott has the top of the key. He's going to reset it, looking for Felino on the block. Couldn't get it to him. Bell Johnson at the top of the key and loses it, gets it back. Parker Scott drives in. Nice defense by Costa. Eight on the shot clock. Top of the key for Parker Scott. He shoots it. Actually passes it off to Alex Scott, who gets it off. Blocked by Murray. Costa has it. Pushing it up, being chased by Felino, and the presence of Felino made Costa alter his shot. Nice shot by Felino. Just, just sat there, didn't do anything, but Costa had to do a kind of trick shot to get it up, couldn't get it in. No, you're exactly right. Yep, and uh, Kyle's shaking his head a bit. He knows he overreacted. So he saw Felino coming, and we recall what Felino That's did during the first five 12, minutes of the game. He was swatting everything away, so that's an interesting turnaround. John Felino showing some great leadership, hustling down the court, stopped the shot by Costa. Now he's going to the line with a chance to uh, put two up on the board. Interestingly, North Quincy now 17 fouls, so Quincy's in the bonus. Yep, this will be a 1-1 one -one for Felino, and he hits the first. We had talked about that being a factor for uh, North, but they never really became one, and now quietly Quincy's in the bonus with 3.24 to go. All right, Felino hits both of the one-on-one -on -one and Ooh. brings Quincy's lead up to five. 40-35 is the score here with 3.24 left here in the game. Uh, Felino now has on the night uh, 13 points, so he's been the main scorer here for the Presidents. Yeah, he's got... Uh, Excuse me, he's uh, 11 points. Yeah, 11. I've got him for four here in the second half. Um, North's done a very nice job on him. They focused on him a bit. Um, a factor here in the second half that probably is an unexpected factor, Joe Griffin. He's uh, got a couple of nice hoops down low, cleaning up uh, right in the face of the Murray factor. Joe's got four points, so it's an interesting game here. 40 to 35, five points separating the teams here with 324 to go. All right, Quincy, again, is the Old Colony League North champions. They come into this game with a record of 15-2 and overall and 10-2 and in the league. North Quincy, they're at 500 overall, 8-8, eight and 7-4 eight, and and in the league. Uh, Quincy most likely will be hosting a tournament game here uh, in their gymnasium when the seedings are released. And North Quincy's going to need to win a couple of games here uh, to make sure that they can get into the tournament. Right now, they're hovering on the line. Yeah, you're right. I think Quincy will have a shot at two games, actually, but they should have a good seed with their record, and they've been consistent all year. All right, back to action. 3.20 left here in the game. North brings it up. Costa has it, calling a play, being guarded by Alex Scott. Costa now has it again. 15 on the shot clock. Red Ray's looking for a good shot, working the ball around. Donovan has it, gets it into Alcatrib, and nice shot by Alcatrib to get another two points. That plays work now three times. Uh, that's the backdoor pick, reaction to the overly aggressive Quincy defense. Best way to do it. On the weak side, they set a backdoor pick. It's a great play, well designed for this game. Elkatrip comes in and tries to steal it, and it looks like they're going to have a timeout called on the floor. Lavelle Johnson got it back, and he called a timeout. And that's where it stands. Jim Rendell looking for a jump ball call. Uh, one thing Jim's doing, you can see him there in the middle of the screen. Great job by George Capadonna, our cameraman. He's really working the officials. He does something that I, I like to see, well, a coach likes to see. Um, he does what they call working the official behind the ball. 
as the play goes up the court, he's been in the year of that. Um, the, he was becoming the high official, you know, complaining about something. And sometimes when you do that, you end up getting a call uh, that you may not necessarily deserve. Tom Heinsohn was known for working mercilessly on officials. And uh, Rendell is working hard here, trying to get every advantage for his team. It's 40-37. It's interesting watching. I, I'm very intrigued by the fact that uh, on the north side, it's all passion and fire and everything. The Quincy team, these boys, as you said, 15-2. and two. They're very composed, very poised. Uh, Fisher is working the sideline. He's up and down and yelling and everything, but he's got a way during the timeouts of really appearing very composed as the boys come over to the bench. And uh, It's a very controlled atmosphere on the Quincy High squad. All right, 10 seconds on the shot clock now for their presence. Now down to seven. Parker Scott has it. Gives off to Alex Scott. Down to three, and they're going to get a shot off. And they're unable to do so. Actually, he's going to step out of bounds before the buzzer went off. So he stepped out of bounds, and Quincy cannot get a shot off. So we Red Raiders ball. Nice defense there, but Red Raiders prevent the shot. Oh, that was fabulous defense by North Quincy. Great job. It's 40-37 now. We're under 2.30 to go. Costa brings the ball up now for the Red Raiders. Working against Alex Scott. Spin move into the middle. No good by uh, Scott. Was able to prevent it. Yeah, they cleared it out for Costa trying to get him a shot. Great defense by Scott. All right, under 10 down the shot clock. They missed John Murray about five seconds ago. He was wide open underneath the net, and they couldn't get the ball to him. He was calling for it, uh, but they couldn't get it. All right, Alex Scott gets called for the foul. That's his fourth that his foul. foul. Um, Tell you, that's a potential factor, line. too. Scott has Number been five, fabulous on Costa. He's worked hard all night. He's a key... Uh, key guard for the team. Missed right. the first. Yep, Donovan misses the first and rebounded there by Quincy. Missed foul shots could come back to haunt the Red Raiders. They're now 0 for the half from the foul line. Alex Scott gets it down low to Lavelle Johnson back up to Felino and he can't hit it. And Lavelle Johnson comes down with it along with Donovan and will be going to the possession hour for North Quincy. 152 left here in the game. Akil Benjamin was trying to get back in, but it looked like Rendell, Jim Coach Jim Rendell, couldn't get him to the bench uh, score table in time. Costa brings it up now for the Red Raiders, again being guarded by Alex Scott. Scott playing with four fouls now. Costa has it again at the top of the key, trying to set up the offense. 12 on the shot clock. Over to Alcatrib. Kicks it off now to Tom Powers back in the game. Six on the shot clock. Canonovan wa walks in and no good. Didn't hit the rim, and that is a violation. The right. officials are going to consult. Yeah. yeah, there's a question here. Kevin Donovan put a shot up, and it didn't look like it hit the, the rim, and there was no shot clock was not reset. So we'll see what they say. And the referees are going to say it did hit the rim. I think, I, well, I don't know what the call is. I don't know why they're giving them a reset. I did not see that, but they've made the call. Now they can get Benjamin in. Uh, Kill Benjamin, Benjamin comes in for Tom Powers. 120 to go, John. 40-37, the presidents. Benjamin's playing with four fouls. And Kevin Donovan, Kevin Donovan, excuse me, he has three for the presidents. Uh, Alex Scott has four, and a couple other players have two. All right, so Red Raiders get a nice break there uh, with a refresh of the shot clock. Kyle Costa working on Alex Scott, and they're going to call a timeout. Coach Jim Rendell won the timeout, and 20 seconds left in the shot clock, 113 left in the game. Presidents up by three, 40 to 37. Yeah, it's interesting. Um one thing, now the uh, burn timeouts by the presidents, they're a potential factor. If North Quincy hangs around like this, hits a shot or two, Quincy may need these timeouts down the final minute. It's been a great ball game, and like we said, it's uh, just two teams just getting down, playing man-to-man -man defense. There really hasn't been that much as far as changes of defense or whatever. A couple of times, uh, Coach Fisher came with some pressure to affect tempo. We had a 2-2-1 two -two press we saw once and slowed things down nicely and a couple of full court uh, 
pressures that were again just attempts to slow things down but basically what the two teams have done is gone at each other in a half court man to man you know set play type game and it's been really something to watch no one neither Costa or Lavelle Johnson for the president or either of the Scott brothers warmed up from the three-point arc and if that happened that might have opened up this game a little more but no one's been hitting jumpers it's been everybody trying to bang it inside all right so as we mentioned 20 seconds on the shot clock for the Red Raiders passing the ball is gonna be Kevin Donovan looking for Murray and doesn't get it to him actually gives it off now to Kyle Costa Costa has the gun, slow it down, set up the offense. Costa's gonna shoot a three, and in it, out. And two Red Raiders both went up for it. Keel Benjamin and John Murray uh, both thought the other was gonna take it, and they went out of bounds, and now it's the President's ball. We've got one minute to go. All right, as you just hear, one minute left here in the game, and we're gonna have a file on Kyle Costa. Yeah. Costa got him with the body. Kyle Costa. Uh, third, team seven. 57 Scott seconds. Nine. This will probably be one of the one. longest one. minutes in our life, though, <laughs> I think, John. <laughs> that and our viewers. So, Scott at the line. Scott at the line for the first of the one-on-one, one, and he hits it. One thing I think we can expect from the Scott brothers, good foul shooting. That's a safe bet. And the second is good as well. So as you mentioned, good foul shooting, and Parker drains both. All right, President's in the lead is now 5, 42 to 37. 50 seconds left here in the game. And Red Raiders is going to call another timeout. Jim Rendo wants to discuss some things with his team and get a play out of bounds. And again, you might not have seen on your screen, Coach Jim Rendo was working referee trying to <laughs> ask for another call. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's very hard working. A lot of emotional energy expended by Jim Rendell when he coaches a sport, I'll tell you. And he's got the boys fired up here. Uh, Benjamin came in. I thought the substitution was more critical defensively for them. But uh, one of the things he did on that last sequence was he had Benjamin up top to set a pick for Costa. Uh, we're going to look for that now, uh, this offensive sequence. You'll probably see Benjamin as opposed to being down in the corner or on the block where he's been most of the night. We probably see him up at the top in one of the wing spots trying to open things up for Costa. This is where the lack of dimension for the North offense becomes an issue. Uh, Costa's the one guy out there who can create shots for himself. But other than that, um, the rest of the guys have to get their offense out of the flow. And um, when you're down and you have to get points quickly, that makes it a little tougher. But we'll look for the Raiders to take the ball to the hoop. As we mentioned early on, they are in the one-on-one, so. They right, gotta North hit their foul up. shots, though, John. Yes, they do. All right, Costa has it off to Kevin Dahman. He's gonna shoot a three, and no good. Front rims it. Rebounded by Parker Scott. He's gonna try to waste some time, and he gets fouled there by Costa. Uh, he was slipping at the same time, but he got fouled first. That's Costa's fourth foul. Yeah, Costa comes up limping there. That's his fourth and the two's Parker Scott at the line, shooting the front end of a one and one. All right, 42-37, Scott at the line for a one and a one. And he hits the first. Scott is six for six here. And he misses his first there. 43-37 for the presence on top. 30 seconds now left in the game. Elkatrip has it, goes towards the basket, spins into the middle, nice turnaround jumper, but it's no good. Rebounded by Parker Scott and gives it off to Alex, and that's where he's going to get fouled. And uh, that foul was a big one because it puts Quincy in the double bonus. Now, as opposed to a one-on-one, -on -one, they'll be shooting two foul shots each time they're fouled. So the Red Raiders are in a tough position now. They're down six, 23 seconds to go. And every time they foul to stop the clock, it's going to result in two foul shots for the Presidents. All right, Alex Scott misses the first. Now, whereas before, that would have meant a change of possession and a shot for uh, Red Raiders to come down and do something. Now he's, he can relax and 
And he does, and he sticks the second. Nice job by Scott. Time out. Let's see. All right. Time out on the floor. Presence on top by seven points, 44 to 37. Um, so yeah, we can expect Fisher now. You might see that 2-2-1 two, two, press again or something like it. Because what he's going to want to do, he's going to tell his boys, we're up seven on uh, high school basketball. That's at least three possessions, probably four possessions. There's only 23 seconds left. Another factor is after North Quincy scores, you don't pick up the ball. You let the ball bounce around a little bit. Unlike the professional game where the clock can stop um, here, once a hoop is scored, the clock keeps running, so I'm sure the officials are going to be picking up the ball. There's all kinds of little ways to run time on the clock, and I'm sure Fish is reviewing that with his players. We'll see seconds. if they don't come out, though. I'm sorry, John. We'll see if they don't come out in some sort of press. And again, it's not to go after the ball. It's going to be just to take time off the clock and keep North tentative. Yeah, the press will also cause North maybe you'll become a little tentative and have a bad pass and try to get a steal there and try to put this game away. 23 seconds left here in the game. 44-37 is our score. And North Quincy is getting ready to take it out of bounds. All right, Quincy's not going to go with a press. Yeah, they're in their man-to-man. -man. They're staying in their man-to-man. -man. In the game for the Presidents is Steve Conley. And also uh, Joe Griffin. And it looks like we're going to have a foul in the play. And it looks like that's on Alex Scott. And that would be his fifth. This is number 33, Alex Scott. Yeah, Alex is very frustrated. He's over going to his coach. That was not a foul. And it has not been, in fairness to Scott, that has not been a foul. She's most of the game of one he was trying to get around the top of a pick he got his uh, left leg out in front there and they called him for a a body foul um, Costa's got to hit this first one Norse only in the one and one they're not in the double bonus so Costa's got to hit the first to get the second and as we said North Quincy is 0 for the half from the foul line so Costa a good foul shooter though all right, Orlando comes into the game to Scott, and Scott, excuse me, Costa does make the first. We'll look for North to get right into the pressure here. It's 44-38. They're going to have to get on this inbounds. And he sticks two. Costa hits that both. was big. Timeout. And a timeout is called by Costa North Quincy. Quincy. As you mentioned, Jim, it's going to be a long one minute here. Uh, 15 seconds are now left in the game. Quincy on top by five, 44-39. Costa yeah. having a nice game here tonight. He has 17 points, and he's been keeping his team uh, around the presence all night. Yeah, we, I've been talking a lot about Felino getting worn out and, you know, really bank. Well, Costa, the job done tonight by uh, Alex Scott on Costa has been phenomenal. Really worn him down. Um, the big thing about that second foul shot, not only did it put a point on the board, but it allows North Quincy to set something up defensively to try to get the ball. They've got to get a turnover. And I know that uh, in addition to that, Coach Rendell's going to emphasize that if they don't get the ball immediately, they're going to have to foul immediately. Look for Quincy to try to inbounds the ball to, uh, it'll be Parker Scott they'll look for. And uh, I don't know if maybe they've had Felino inbounding the ball. He's a very alert, heads up guy. And normally that's the type of guy you want inbounding the ball. So. Look for Felino to be inbounding and look for him to try to get it to Parker Scott. I noticed that Steve Conley came in here. Um, one of the reasons I'm sure Steve's in, and I see John Orlando too, all those guys can shoot foul shots. And Johnny Orlando, very aggressive, good defensive player. Yep, Orlando's open, he's got the ball, he'll be the one to get fouled. And he does get fouled by Elkatrib. That's Elkatrib's. Uh, fourth foul. One quick thing about Alex Scott. Uh, he did foul out of the game, but like you said, he did an unbelievable job um, on defense here tonight. In the books, you're only going to see one point. You might not think it was that important, but um, the defensive game he did have against Kyle Costa. Costa did still have uh, 17 points, but if he prevented him. He could have had a lot more, but uh, Costa was run down a lot by Alex Scott. Yeah, and as we said, Johnny Orlando delivering here. He's two for two. Great job by Orlando. I grew up with John Orlando's father, and I know what sort of genetic hurdles he's had overcome to play basketball. So that's quite. There's a great move by Costa, but it's going to be too little, too late. The clock runs out, and uh, Quincy Presidents, with an impressive win here, grinding it out in the final two minutes, 
A 46-41 win for the Presidents, Sean. All right, great game here by a beach team. Uh, Quincy did come out on top, though, in the end. Uh, we're going to add up our totals here for you quickly. Uh, But Quincy, that was the type of game they're going to be playing in the tournament. It was uh, really gritty. Uh, they really had a bang at each other and uh, had to keep at it in order to win. And uh, Quincy did a great job. They look like they're ready. Tough, tough loss to North, but a great outing. And I'm sure that uh, Coach Rendell's going to emphasize that fact uh, when he talks to the boys in the locker room now after the game. So, as you said, it was a, a, a well-played game by both teams. Um, I should say both high schools and both teams, the girls and the boys. We had two great games here tonight. Um, both schools got their money's worth. I saw uh, Principal Frank Santoro on the way in. He played host here, a North Quincy grad himself. Uh, but uh, now he's at the Quincy end wearing the blue and white. So we promised him we have unbiased reporting here. I don't think he <laughs> knows John Caleri is a Quincy high guy. So... But it was a great outing down here for uh, everybody. The gym, you can see the people filing out at the place that just packed. So quite a night here for uh, Quincy and North Quincy basketball. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, Quincy boys improved to 16-2 and two in overall and 11-2 in the league. Uh, North Quincy, they're going to fall to 8-9 and nine overall and 7-5 and five in the league. So for Jim Timmons, my name is John Caleri. Uh, we also want to mention George Capadonna on camera and Chris Potter is our engineer here tonight and our executive producer is Betty Campbell. Also, we neglected to mention uh, during the girls game, uh, Gershon Sachs was our camera person. So again, the final here from Quincy High School, the Quincy High School President Boys 46 and the boys from North Quincy Red Raiders 41. For Jim Timmons, my name is John Clary. We thank you for watching QA TV Sports.